Welcome back to Pride Fit. Today we are talking about Under Armour. So I haven't worn Under Armour since middle school. I remember I was playing football and I was in sixth grade and everyone started to wear these long shirts underneath their padding. And I was like, mom, I gotta get this long Under Armour. And I remember feeling like I had been slighted so much because my mom said, you do not need that. Probably because she knew that I wasn't gonna stick with football. She's like, you're gonna hate that. <laughs> Give it a try. But she did not let me get the Under Armour. And since then, I've obviously had Under Armour shorts. I've had Under Armour shirts, but it seems like they've kind of been overshadowed. They might still be in that like middle high school age bracket, but I don't see a lot of adults wearing Under Armour clothes anymore. So I wanted to give them a try and kind of see what they're like because they're in a good price point. I think that overall my first reaction to it was that, you know, their clothes are quality and they have some like really fun and cool items. So I was decently impressed with Under Armour and I think maybe I've been sleeping on this brand for too long. But without further ado, Let's jump right into the clothing haul. First off, we've got the Meridian tank. So I wouldn't say there's anything super special about this tank. It's made out of polyester and elastane. So I actually really like this blend. It is a very, very athletic fabric. And what I mean by that is that if you're planning on going for like a very heavy sweat, this fabric is gonna do really well with that. It's not gonna be super weighted down like a cotton would be. So I really liked this tank top. For 50 bucks, that's a kind of like the top of where I like to be spending money for a tank top. That being said, Under Armour I know has really, really good deals going on. They're not one of those brands that never goes on sale. So I would wait for like, you know, a Labor Day sale or something uh, that they have going on right now where you get 30% off because that's gonna make this uh, tank top just a little bit more manageable. Next up, we've got the Meridian short. So this is supposed to match that tank top that we just talked about. And this one I wasn't as big of a fan of. I think that it's a fine material. I think it's made pretty well, but I did think that it was a little bunchy in weird areas. And that's one of the things that I find in shorts that aren't quite as high quality is that the bunching kind of is very off-putting to me. So I would say that this is not my favorite pair of shorts, especially for that $70 price point. That being said, I think that, you know, the zippers on it are really high quality. You could easily hold a phone in there when you're going for a run, it's big enough pockets. So that's something to keep in mind. I think that they're a fine short. We've just seen better before. The Meridian long sleeve was interesting to me because I actually thought that I was really gonna like this, seeing as Under Armour kind of got their start with that like really tight long sleeve or uh, really tight shorts and I didn't love this piece just because it didn't necessarily fit how I thought it was going to fit It was really really tight around my forearms. Um, it wasn't really tight enough around my hips I feel like they didn't quite get the sizing right on this piece and for 70 bucks uh, This long sleeve should be like a go-to that you can use for you know a couple of years and have multiple washes And it just didn't feel like the quality was really there Interestingly, the Geosport short sleeve, I actually really loved. I'm usually not a fan of performance t-shirts instead of tank tops, but this one actually fit unbelievably well. It was long enough, which a lot of performance t-shirts are not, and I just thought that the color was really, really lovely. It was really well made. It's that like seamless, they call it. While it is a $60 price tag, I think that the shirt was weirdly worth it. It feels like it is so well put together and it is absolutely something that you'd have for a long time. And I just liked the style of it. I think the red is really, really lovely. So this was one of my favorite things in the order. The Energy Mock Sleeveless. You know, a couple of things about this one. One, I don't like having this like big logo on the front. It's very off-putting to me. It's like, I don't need everyone to know that this is an Under Armour shirt. But secondly, and more importantly, the neck thing, I just don't understand it. Like, specifically for what sport, maybe football, but like really, for what sport is it ideal to have like a little bit of your neck covered as if you have a collar? I think it's like stylistically a big mistake. I hate it. If I'm having something on my neck, I think I've said this before, I want it to be like a turtleneck where I'm feeling like very fancy. And that is like basically the extent of anything that I want on my neck. So especially for fitness, like if you're going for a dressy look, that's something else. And obviously this would not be dressy, but for fitness, I think that doing anything with the neck is just weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, these are my favorite shorts of the order. I think they are so fun. I think the pattern is perfect. The five inch inseam is absolutely exactly how the shorts should be. They fit really well around your legs. You know, they also have a bunch of different colors that I was really interested in trying. And next time, 
I probably would. Some of them were sold out, which is a bummer, but like I really like this royal reflective. I think that's really cool. I think the black is really cool. I'd even do the ghost grain orange ice. I don't love orange usually, but like I think these are just like a cool short. So overall, like this entire launch line, I think is um, a really good bang for your buck, especially looking right now, it looks like these are on sale for $27 and you just can't beat that for a short. The PT shorts were not my favorite. They were just like a standard short to me, which for 30 bucks like isn't harmful, but it's not helpful either. I really, I liked our last pair of shorts so much more, probably just because they're more exciting. They've got more character and they're bold, right? And these were just like a standard pair of shorts. Again, not offensive, but also not exciting to me. Okay, so the Unstoppable Joggers, I actually wasn't sold on by the picture. I kind of thought that I was gonna hate these joggers and they were absolutely one of my favorite parts of my order. You know, for 90 or even $67 if they're on sale, I think that these are an incredibly well-made jogger and the color and the fit of them is just really cool. Like you can tell that these would be a great warm-up jogger, something to put over your shorts when you're walking to the gym or if you're getting ready for a game or something. Uh, these would be a great jogger because they're just not too tight. They're a little bit baggier, but they're also fitted enough that they're flattering on your body. So these were really, really lovely for me. Uh, and I also love that they have a bunch of different colors that you can get them in. Um, even this like acai purple, I'm like, yeah. When do we ever get joggers in that color? So look into that. And then lastly, the Tech 2.0 half zip. I think that this is such a great half zip for 32 bucks. I think it looks really nice. If you're, you know, a little bit more athletic in your clothing style and you're going out on a date night and you're wearing a polo and it's cold, you could absolutely wear this over the top and it would look really, really nice. I think that it's really well made and I was just so surprised by how cheap it is. It is lightweight. It's not like a material that is going to replace a jacket by any means, but it is just like an extra coverage over your upper body. And it's just, you know, really, really good looking. And I think that the color was really lovely too. So highly suggest this quarter zip, even if you don't use it for your next date. Jared's gonna laugh at me for that. Like, I don't, it's not a good date thing. Don't actually wear it on a date, but like maybe. <laughs> And that is our Under Armour clothing haul. I hope this video is helpful to you. You know, what I found about Under Armour was that they seem to have really good styles, really good fit of clothing, really good quality of clothing, but they're just at that tier down price-wise. And I think that's really great. A lot of the companies that I review, they think that they are a tier up price-wise when the quality is here. And it was really lovely to have the quality here and Under Armour kind of say like, no, we can own the market at this price point because that's where we know that our audience will actually purchase it. I really, really loved that. And I hope that they'll continue doing that in the future. I hope that they'll also continue like kind of being a leader in more out there patterns because when you look at Nike or Adidas or whatever, they're very classic, right? And I'm hoping that Under Armour is kind of like seeing an opportunity to be a little bit more out there and taking it. So if you have any brands that you'd like me to review in the future, don't forget to leave me a comment with it and I will do my best to put it in the queue. Thanks so much for watching.